Good morning guys, and if you remember from my last video, I drove the Hyundai Accent with no license plates across the border. Now I've got to make my way to work. Without getting caught by the cops. Wish me luck. Well, we got a phone call yesterday from Danny over at A-Plus Auto Glass and the 36 Dodge interior is complete. So I'm going to sneak over there and bring it back to the shop. Good morning, Cap. You having fun? Oh, yeah. Found some garbage out in your parking lot. Figured, Thank you. Figured you might want that. Awesome, buddy. Got the lid at You ate the rest. I ate it, yeah. Okay. Dan's still sick? Well, he says he is. Well, I'll show you where we're at. This, this until he gets his seat molded. He yep. said he had more wiring to do. We yep. didn't put any carpet under there, but we did here. Okay. So I guess we're just ready for the carpet, and we didn't bother fixing this yet until he's got a seat exactly where he wants it. Okay. So get the seat mounted, and then we then we can deal with that. Yeah, we can touch those just a matter of altering the covers here. Yep. And got the windows in. Yep. Yeah. I didn't seal them yet, but we'll, we'll do that when it comes back. But I can seal it after. Okay. So we'll, we'll put the seal it around that. And, and it gives the rubber a good chance to flatten it a bit yep. too. And I guess it's in his ballpark now, Chris. As that he's got to finish up in there, he said. Yeah, yeah there's just some more wires before. tweaking little stuff here and there, and hopefully yeah, we can. Yeah, uh, I think he said he got to build a box or something. Yeah, the, for the wipers. Yeah. Yeah, the wipers are going in that little pocket over there. And the kick panel, so hopefully we can uh, finish her up. Roll down the road. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll get rid of your hair. Hopefully Here. it'll start. <laughs> Is this your first time driving it? No. Oh. Well, maybe that he knows all, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We got the box off Alex's truck, and you know what? Quite surprisingly, this truck is in really good shape. If this was a Chevrolet, those cross members would all be rotten out. Yep. So we get the uh, get the fuel pump off. Hopefully, have it running by the end of the day. At least that's the plan. So we got a new fuel pump in uh, Junior's truck and it uh, seems to be working just fine. I'm driving it right now, so the fuel pump was the issue. So nothing a few hundred bucks in a real stinky shop doesn't fix. Not hard to tell, tonight is Chase the Ace night. is full. And the overflow 
empty parking lot is full. And the parking spaces that aren't parking spaces are full. People are parking on lawns. And it's a madhouse. Dooley's parking lot is jam-packed. And we got people parking in places that shouldn't be parked. Well, I tell you, it's good to be back in the old Pathfinder. Alex has got his truck back. I've got mine. And you know, I've said in the past that being a used car dealer, I can drive whatever I want off the lot, whether it be the newest car, fanciest car, sports car, truck, van, SUV, whatever you want to call it, but I really don't mind this 2007 Pathfinder. The friggin' thing is a tank, and my only complaint is the fuel economy. It really isn't great. On the highway, it's not too bad. I average probably somewhere around 19 to 20 miles per gallon, as long as I'm doing the speed limit, but in town, Man, she's a pig. A big snow day tomorrow, and I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot going on, so we'll just have to see what tomorrow brings. So tonight's lineup for JCA starts over there, comes down the stairs, down to the glass, all the way around, and it comes all the way underneath the stairs here, and back out and into the lobby. Make sure the winning one's Well, we got our tickets. We waited in line approximately an hour, and the lineup, literally, as you saw, was right around the whole arena. It is Thursday, March the 8th, and welcome to winter in the Maritimes. A big storm rolling through, and we were spoiled with all that spring-like weather that we had for the last couple of weeks, but it doesn't seem like winter's quite over yet. So here we are. Back to complaining about the weather. Dodge project ended up being, I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but the pistons, the two back pistons were put in reverse. So one in the back should be over here and this one should be over there. And the reason for that is because in those flat top pistons there's little grooves set out for the valves so that when they open and close they're not hitting the piston. Well dad upgraded the cam in this thing to a longer duration cam which leaves the valves open longer. So what that meant was the valves, were, one of them was just barely touching the piston when it came up. And the ticking noise was it just kind of giving a little tap and helping it close um, due to the cam. So long story short, the problem is solved and um, we're going to try and fix that up and get a new head gasket and back together hopefully first of the week. So I guess the time has come that the Kia Soul has to go to the dealer. So Junior and I are heading up to the U-Haul to pick up a trailer and we'll bring it back and we'll get this thing loaded up. Well guys, that is it for today's video. Tomorrow we will be taking that Kia Soul to St. John 
and we've got some video of that so we'll share that with you in the next upload so guys if you like what you see please give us a big thumbs up and if you want to see some more videos click the box right here and please subscribe by clicking here thanks again and have a great day we'll see you next time